A lot of you have been asking me to react to the Robert Downey Jr. interview that he walked out on, and um, it really wasn't nothing to react to. I already saw it a few days ago, um, but I will review it. I mean, there's nothing to it. The guy started asking him questions about being, being in prison, being in jail, incarcerated, and it was like it had nothing to do with the movie, you know. When stars have a big movie come out, they start to go from talk show to talk show, news stations, different studios, Good Morning America, whatever it is, and they answer questions about the movie and other lighthearted questions, you know. And then dude's going to start diving into his, his, his negative past, and it's like, what the fuck are you doing? That's why he's like, are, are, we, promoting, are we promoting the movie? Uh, I, you know... He's like looking around and like, the fuck's wrong with this dude? And <laughs> um, you know, somebody say, was he right? Was he wrong? I don't think there's no right or wrong answer. I, I just think that he should have, you know, if he stayed and he finished the interview, I would have respected him. If he walked out, I still respect him for walking out because that's not what the fucking interview was about. The interview was supposed to be about the movie. Apparently, from what he said, wait, are we in a, are we, are we promoting a movie? That's what it's about, promoting the movie. Talk to me about Avengers. Talk to me about Iron Man. Talk to me about Tony Stark. Talk to me about my take on this character, Robert Downey Jr., who I am, RDJ, motherfucker. That's what I said. <laughs> you twit. I am RDJ. You know what I mean? I had my assistant smack him. Assistant, smack the snicker right now. He's like, uh, sir. Told you. Now ask me the right questions. That's what I'd be did if it was me. But I'm not a major A-list actor yet. But when I am, don't let nobody dive into my past asking me that. So I might have to bring the pimp hand out myself. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear a glove. They say I'm left-handed, but my right hand is the strongest. I got, But I think I can pimp hand. I can pimp smack with style with my left better. What do you think? Which, which, whichever one I figure, I'm going to wear a black glove. And I'm going to wear a purple glove on that hand. And it's going to be my pimp hand. And when I walk into interviews, people are going to know that I know that they got a habit of asking funny questions on their channel. So if you do, as soon as they start getting close, I'm like, like, oh, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, okay, so next question, um, you're playing the black Superman. Yeah, I am. What do you want to know about? You know, see, the days is I just catch them. Trying, you know, cause they, they they just try to start diving into some negative shit. I'm like, I better get back to it. First black Superman role, yes. Uh huh. I won it over Will Smith, yes I did. I beat Tyrese out, yes I did. As of course. Uh huh. Others were up for the role. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm done. I'm done hamming it up for this shit. Uh, I'm going to go check out a couple more videos, see if I can uh, get some more reactions in. There is a Goku, Vegeta, Frieza fight that's leaked. I will be checking that out, and I will be reviewing it. So I will see you soon. Some bitches. One million subscribers. Woo!